Hi, my name is Donna Harris. I'm the speech pathologist at the ALS Center of Hope here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. My job as a speech pathologist here at the clinic is to help anybody who's having difficulty speaking or swallowing. Anybody who's having trouble speaking, we call it dysarthria. Um, ALS can affect the muscles we use for talking. Our mouth has many different muscles that can be affected by ALS. These include the tongue, lips, cheeks, jaw, and throat. If any of these articulators become affected, it affects the rate, the strength, and the range of motion. Um, this all can affect how a patient's speech sounds. Um, their coordination is decreased, and therefore the precision is decreased. So here at the clinic, I help people speak as clearly and for as long as possible during this disease process. The speech treatment is compensatory in nature since we can't actually fix the problem. Strategies are given to improve the speech intelligibility and to improve the understanding by the listeners. We also discuss something called message banking, which is a way that we can take everything that you say put it all together in something called the model talker, which will then spit everything out if you need later, and it can create anything that you may want to say. The model talker is the most reliable um, thing that we have at the moment um, to, to save all of your speech and use all of the co-articulation necessary to recreate any utterance you may want to say. As a speech pathologist, Patients who do have difficulty speaking often want to do something to help themselves. I'm always asked if exercise is helpful in this situation, and will it help my speech? Research has not shown that exercise is helpful. These little articulators become more fatigued from exercise, and therefore we do not recommend exercise for patients at this time. There is, however, something called breath stacking that we do recommend. Um, speech involves respiration and phonation and voicing like you can hear as I'm speaking. If I'm not getting enough breath support, I'm not going to get good phonation. Therefore, breath stacking is something you can do to help yourself to keep the four lobes of your lungs going and to keep um, your lungs aerated and healthy. So this is something I'm going to show you now that I do recommend you do as often as you can. And I'm going to tell you first what to do and then I'll show you. You're going to take a deep breath in as far as you can through your nose. Then you'll take three more small inhalations followed by pursed lip exhalation. So this is how it goes. That is breath stacking, and we recommend it as often as you can. We do also recommend that you stay seated when you do it, and if you become lightheaded, please sit down. Thanks.